pela moção de agradecimento. It is now my honor to call on His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu, DCFR, Chair of the ECOWAS Authority of Heads of States and Government, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and Commander-in-Chief to give his closing remarks. Thank you. Your Excellencies, I withdraw the curtain on this second extraordinary summit on the social economic situation in the Republic of Niger. I stand before you filled with gratitude and hope that each one of all we addressed and we have exhausted your concern. You have exhibited great membership, dedication, and patriotism. I recognize the danger facing our dear neighbor, Niger. I hope that through our collective efforts, we can bring about a peaceful resolution as a roadmap to restoring stability and democracy in Niger. All is not lost yet. The outcome of this summit is a testament to the power of collaboration and unity. We have reaffirmed our commitment to the people of Niger and to the progress of our entire ECOWAS community. We will continue with that. And you will see from the community of this extraordinary summit that no option is taken off the table, including the use of force as a last resort. If we don't do it, no one else will do it for us. We remain steadfast and our commitment to supporting Niger in the journey towards peaceful and democratic stability in the country. The road ahead will on that table have challenges, but I firmly believe that with our collective resolve, we can navigate these obstacles and chart a path towards lasting peace and prosperity for Nigerians and ECOWAS. I send my sincere gratitude to all of you for your dedication and valuable contributions during this extraordinary summit. Your unwavering commitment to ECOA and ECOWAS and the welfare of our continent is highly commendable. I want to thank you for your positive remarks and recognition given to me and the government of the people of Nigeria. May our collective efforts pave the way for a brighter future for the Nigerian people and for all Africans. May ECOWAS continue to thrive as a beacon of unity, cooperation, and progress in the region. With this, I officially bring the 
second extraordinary summit on the social political situation and the Republic of Niger to a close.